2023 is here and there are a lot of new trends and skills you should definitely check out if you want to stay ahead in your XR journey. Here are 10 most essential skills and new trends you should definitely watch out for. I have categorized them into hard skills, soft skills and mindset as I believe that soft skills and mindset is definitely something that gets underrated a lot so let me know if you want to hear more of these things but here we go on the hard skills list we have four skills two of which are timeless they are always essential you will get into that in a second and then two of which that are really like new trends that are extremely important to watch out for the first one is game engines and yeah you have to hear me talking a lot about game engines already choose unity or unreal both are perfectly capable of building amazing xr experiences if you like um, c sharp as a programmer then unity could be great c plus plus is what the programming language used for unreal engine but again i would just recommend you try out both of them unity has the strong benefit that they just have a really big community they have a lot of job opportunities also and it's just like a really growing field overall and unreal has yeah unreal graphics so that is definitely something that is really powerful and yeah just unreal is unbeatable in this kind of area but again just try them out and then you have heard me a lot of talking about this already next you should know the fundamentals of xr technology in general as a designer and as a programmer so things like what is degrees of freedom what is um, field of view or like inside out tracking or all of these like terms that you should be aware of when you first try out a vr headset basically and yeah how do you get these just try out a lot of hardware software go to conferences be in the field and just be able to have like a genuine conversation in this field and that just helps you if you understand like basic glossary terms the next which you probably have heard already which is ai or to be more precise chat gpt because yeah the the world is kind of like spinning around chat gpt like all over the place at the moment. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. AI chatbot. Or AI chatbot GPT chat. Chat GPT. Which is a conversational AI built by OpenAI and it's extremely powerful. And I would also love to make a video on that. Let me know in the comments below if you are interested more on AI topics in general because that is a huge thing especially combined with xr that is definitely a video that i will be doing xr with ai but overall really study like how to use chat gpt to your advantage otherwise yeah, you might run into issues like becoming obsolete by ai again not like tomorrow but just in the future ai can make you a superhuman or can make you obsolete to make it a bit more dramatic so definitely check out what is available out there and just stay up to date next we have user experience for xr fortunately more and more and more companies are seeing the value in ux for xr because let's be honest most xr experiences suck that are outside of these super polished triple a oculus studio things that you see like on the top 10 of the oculus store everything that is like not there usually sucks in terms of user experience and i talk to a lot of like industry professionals and company leads in the xr field and many of these see a trend that there's more and more demand and interest in user experience for xr which kind of makes sense because um, people don't want to have experiences that suck so the tip here is really get familiarized with this one and it is a lot of stuff to learn from a lot of fields which is why we created the ux for xr course we put all the information that is like on all those places together in one simple and and easy to learn course you can see it in the description below if you're interested that can be really helpful but again definitely spend some time in ux even as a developer if you are a competent developer who also adds ux to his arsenal that can be extremely beneficial actually and as a ux designer of course that is kind of the main thing you will be doing so really check out some ux for xr things that you can learn again the course will be linked below and now we have soft skills and the first one which i personally believe is one of the if not the most important skill to have in the century actually is being curious and the ability to learn fast in any industry especially in xr things are just evolving so freaking fast it's kind of insane i mean you know already like the technological progress that is happening especially now with ai and blockchain and xr and holograms and so many things that are just going on it is getting more and more and more important to just be able to quickly grasp a concept and apply it as fast as possible getting information is kind of like sand you just have it 
everywhere now. Like you can just ask ChatGPT anything and you just have like 1000 paragraph blog on whatever topic you want to learn. So now it's getting even more important to actually apply these learnings and you do it the best if you stay curious and always learn. Now we have something that maybe a couple of developers may not agree with, but it's extremely important, which is communication skills. If you are a developer and I know I was a developer too, I work with a lot of developers. Most developers don't really care too much about communication skills. They're like, yeah, I can code. That's good. That's good. I don't have to act with humans. And uh, especially when I talk to people working with developers, it is a very common thing that we just like to be on our own, having our headphones over here and just keep coding and doing our awesome stuff. But if you are a developer and you have the ability to communicate well, maybe what you need or maybe something that you don't want people to do or how they should like um, treat your features projects how to discuss with somebody like all of these skills how to actually work with somebody it's extremely valuable and it will just make your life so much easier and as a designer of course your one of your main jobs is to be a good communicator between different departments so you will be talking to developers to project managers to customers to company leads to all of these different people and everybody speaks a different language which is why communication is so 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 goddamn important and i may be biased because yeah i am fond of my own company so i'm a company lead and a communicator on youtube so if i don't know how to communicate well then i'm definitely doing some stuff really wrong the third soft skill i would like to talk about is creative problem solving and people outside of programming may not agree with or may not see that that programming is actually a beautiful art form it's like very creative and it also feels like making art and yeah and xr especially and also as a designer it is super important to just think outside the box because in xr you don't have any set rules like with ios development or like android or website development like you have to have this button and this size and with this corner radius and this pixel distance and all of that stuff in xr everything is kind of freestyle and everybody is ex exploring right now so you have a lot of ways to combine different ideas and bring them creatively together which is one of the most beautiful parts about xr so creative problem solving is definitely something that you can really like um, train and by just doing a lot of crazy things and just taking a lot of ideas to try to combine them and then make something useful out of it again this is something that not many people talk about but i think it's really 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 beneficial and now we have three mindsets that again they can be extremely important especially in this day and age so let's start with the first one. This is actually one of our core philosophies at Immersive Insiders, my company, which is improve every day. In our company, we call it better than yesterday, BTY. And it's basically whatever you do, any video I do, any project, any piece of code, any design idea, whatever we do, we look back once it's finished and then we just see, okay, how can we improve it? How can we make it better? My first courses, they were not too bad, but the sales and marketing part area as a developer, they were so, so, so terribly bad that I like sold like one course and that course was like sold to one of my friends who probably was like pitying me because he was like, man, you don't make any sales with this one. And then I just learned and made it better every single time. And also the video quality. I mean, you can just check out my older videos like from one year ago, it already improved. So this kind of mindset can really make you just a better human at everything. If whatever project you do, you're finished, whether it's good or bad, it doesn't really matter. Just look back and be like, okay, how can we improve this? I do it with everything in my life actually. And it has been really, really helpful because of this, I can cook really well. The next one that is also really important. And I think it's important because I see a lot of people not doing this, which is be persistent. Like don't be annoyed and like unmotivated and like sad if you don't get success right away whatever you success means to you if you want to build a youtube channel or if you want to get a career if you learn a skill or if you want to um, make some money whatever it is people just give up so freaking early maybe it's because of stuff like tiktok and shorts like just destroying people's attention spans and maybe like expectation settings and stuff like this but um yeah if something doesn't work right away don't stop so freaking early just keep doing it the thing so i call this um i actually have it on my phone as a background which is called trust the process so whatever it is like my gym goals or my youtube stuff like i mean you can check out my last 20 videos they didn't perform too well actually like objectively or 
relative to to my other videos but still i'm just like putting in the work i'm having the trust that i if i just keep doing videos and improving every day then the channel will just blow up and i'm super confident in this so that is definitely something that i would love for you to apply for your own life just take the extra mile be persistent don't give up so early and you will see amazing things can just um come up if you just do it for a little bit longer and the last one something that i also talk a lot about is be proactive rather than being reactive what do we mean by that well rather than hoping that something is going to happen maybe again you get the skill you get the job or you get this project or something like this rather than being passive just be active and try to get it for example a personal story when i was still working as a xr developer a couple of years ago the company was like ah, should we move on with xr or not and that was like my whole passion my whole life really and I just started to proactively buy a couple of headsets and make like a demo day instead of the company. So I just set up the whole hall basically with like VR experiences. Beat Saber of course was the best one. And I just showed everybody how amazing AR and VR can be by just making this company event that just showcased all of that stuff. And after doing this, people really like valued or like saw XR with a much better light which then of course like led my boss to actually keep me pursuing XR which then led to a lot of projects being done in XR that is just like one example how whatever it is you can always just like reach out to people for example being proactive rather than just hoping and waiting for something to happen so this is something that again can make your life so 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 much better if there's anything that you want just yeah try to get it there is no cost in asking all right i hope these 10 tips were helpful to you again like let me definitely know if you like this kind of like format with also soft skills and mindset this kind of like personal development vibe i really think it's extremely important to have these skills next to the technical xr areas as well and yeah they can really really make your life not just like your career much better but everything that you want to do you just feel better and be happier thank you so much for listening and if you want to learn more about xr design especially check out this video over here and as always i see you in the next one